Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. This is your um the last of the bi-weeklies. Okay, so make sure you watch the first part. At the same time, I did a reading for astrology. Where's my money, honey? Not talking about your husband, where they took your money, but it's more of you. Where's my money? Okay. Um, so we look at the, the bava, the houses for luck and prosperity. And then I did give out specific dates. And then the do's and don'ts for manifestation so that you don't feel infestation. Let's begin. Okay. At the end of this video is the how to manifest. So do check it out. Mm -hmm. And let's begin. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's begin. Mm -hmm. Let's begin. Okay, so let me see over here what's going on. Okay, so here we go. You have the princess. Oh, I don't like that card. Okay, oh, <laughs> sorry. Because the prince of pentacles, useless. Okay, useless. Like right away, breath of the card, useless already. This person has nothing to give you. Like you just be in the gut dating this person. Okay, I just want to get another spread. <laughs> One, they overstress. Um, they worry. They bring. They bring everything that you are try to avoid. How about that? Okay, so you want happiness? No, they got lonesome. Uh, you know, nine of swords. You know, eh. <laughs> That's their card. Uh, uh, mm, not good. Mm. You're with the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, so on your end, you probably even tried to compensate for this. Uh, you all, you're already trying to make them, you know, because the Prince of Pentacles is like, I'm sorry you feel this way. You're trying to be, um, how do you call this? You're trying to be their Xanax. You're just trying to be the app. Isn't Xanax an upper to their um, stress? Uh, you know, Nine of Swords is like a lot of anxiety and stress like that with the Nine of Swords. So you're trying to make them feel good about themselves. That's not your job. No human, okay, is... That's what Adele said. Okay? <laughs> she said, because she, she lost weight, right? So she said, I am not... Uh, I forgot what she said anyway. <laughs> she will not be held responsible for how others uh, feels about themselves because she lost weight. So that's true. You're not here to make other people happy. That's their choice. That's their life. So don't, okay? Don't do that. That is toxic. If they want to find their happiness, happiness is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Then they better choose that. But don't let yourself get dragged by this person to their misery. Mm-mm. No, uh -uh. Nine of Swords. For me, I don't share my misery. Even though I know misery loves company, I keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. Then I address it. And then there are days that I blew up. Then I call my mom. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. That's where the moon comes. <laughs> okay. Because the moon is nurturing. Hierophant Emperor. Okay. So look at this. You could be married to this person. So you tried to work this out. Of course, with marriage, always be there for that person. I understand. With the Emperor and the Nine of Swords. So this person has potential. You don't fall in love with, with potential, according to Mr. Ernst. Okay? Potential is like, for me, and my end now, it's like putting a person on a pedestal. You can buy a pedestal on eBay cheaper than what you're doing right now. Because you're giving and giving and giving. You're committed, committed, committed. You have the Hierophant. You know, it's like, Sal, we made a promise to each other. I understand you want to commit to the promise. But this person is not delivering. Emperor with the Nine of Swords, this person can drag you back. <sighs> I can never have someone drag me back. But in bed, please. <laughs> drag me back. I don't want to go to work. Okay. <laughs> That's the only place that you can drag me back. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm always on the go. Mm -hmm. So if it's a good night, it's a good time, yes, please. <laughs> so with the Hierophant over here, because there's all positivity in bed. <laughs> So with the Hierophant with the um, Page of Pentacles over here, I feel like you're still going to be with them. You're working it out and you're finding solutions. So you're that kind of person. You're very concerned about this person. King of Cups. Because for you, this is what it means to be in love and this is how I operate. I stopped doing that to myself, you know. When we think that this is who I am, no. Today, I may not be that person anymore. I am more accepting of anything and everything. I came, I, I feel like it comes with age, being 21. <laughs> How come my age keeps getting reversed? Why not? <laughs> no, I'm more accepting of, uh, you know, like for example, um, I start with little things, you know, because I'm a person, who, I'm a creature of habit. So not the, uh, not the Lord of the Rings Hobbit, okay? A habit. Okay, 
where before, for example, oh, I, I like black and then black, the only thing is I'm gonna wear, you know? No, you want purple, wear purple today. You want blue, you want blue. Okay, so little things is I try. So that then I don't define myself to one, that's boring. I don't want no boring. So you are here, you're not, I'm not saying that you're boring with the way that you love. You're very fixed and you're not even fixed, okay? This is how I love, this is how I operate. No, because this person is gonna drag you, okay? You have the seven of pentacles here, you love them, you care for them. Okay, and they're making you wait. You're not sure whether this is still gonna work out with the relationship. So you're put in a place, uh, um, I forgot what it's called. Um, you're put in a in a rock and the shoe. No, I forgot my, um, in a shoe in a place, something like that. <laughs> like you are caught in between, okay? I forgot that saying, okay. Anyhow, so this person is making you wait. Um, they're not sure whether this can work out. I feel like they're leaning towards separating from you. It makes you a little bit paranoid and obsessive about, no, let's fix this. Because the nine of swords, this person is at a breaking point of like just letting go. Oh boy. You got a death card, I told you. I smelled the end, five of pentacles. You got a judgment. I feel like you're gonna do good now. Okay, we got a king of pentacles. Now this person could have issues with their work and their career or their business and this is showing now. Of course, you're gonna tell me, Sal, you don't give up on the people that you love, especially the more that they need you. Okay. But we can also play that we are Superman to people's lives. Mm, you can't. Not unless you're Wonder Woman or Superman over here, then come to the rescue. Because you're here with a judgment and a death card. Mm -hmm. This is now a do or die, make it or break it with the relationship. Because they're not giving, they're taking and they're dragging. Five of Pentacles over here. And they're not emotionally available to you. You understand me? You can't be the Tom Cruise of the world, you know, that movie. Because <laughs> you got to choose who you're going to save. You choose to save yourself first. That's what the flight attendant always says, so I apply it, okay? <laughs> that's what I say. Okay, I think that's a golden rule. Put your mask first, and then put the other. Mm. So it shows here that with the judgment, you're coming to a crossroad now in your life. Maybe this is the time you file for divorce or separation. With the death card, you're seeing it like this is it. I am uh, ready for big change. And look at this person, King of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. Ni ha ni ho wala. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? They haven't said anything. Ha ho is like, I don't know. But in Filipino, there's like ha ho. <laughs> ni ha ni ho. <laughs> so they haven't said anything. Okay. Because we say it like, you know, when we're trying to get someone's attention, we say ha mm, or ho. <laughs> is weird, I know. <laughs> so this person hasn't reacted, hasn't given you anything. For the five pentacles, no contact. And that's why you say it's like, well, if you're not gonna reach out to me and we're not have a, gonna have a communication, I feel like this is it for us because I cannot help you if you're not gonna help yourself. And then for you, it's like, you can help yourself by telling me your problem. If you're just gonna keep it to yourself, I can't. Mm-hmm, okay. Well, link down, your reading is so serious, okay? And I'm always just a bubbly. I'm like a, a champagne, darling. Bubbles, the veers. Okay, I'm gonna continue this reading. Can Syrian link down there in the description box below for the extended. Let's see if they're gonna break their silence and then really tell you, okay, what is wrong? What What's going on in their life, okay? So, um, next to this is the how to manifest, okay? And there's a code flashing over here also. That's the code for the uh, chart so that you can get it at a discount, all right? So I'll see you guys again, bye. Hi everyone, so this is your how to manifest. Today we're gonna be opening, <laughs> today we're opening, <laughs> such a YouTuber, okay? Focus on cam. Oh. Today we are, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be showing to you one of our latest creation. It is the manifestation crate, the how to manifest. So it comes in different kinds, healing, coins, um, strength, and then we also have how to lose weight. <laughs> That I need, okay? But we are focusing today in love. Ah, oh, let me see. Okay, so I'm sorry. Okay, I just dropped it there. <laughs> Who cares? I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I know what to do. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so let me show you guys what you're gonna get. Now, now there's a cutoff for this because I make limited, uh, limited um, boxes. So if this is, Okay, if you subscribe, $40. If you subscribe, with free shipping. 
You can check it in the description box below. And it's valued, I'll, I'll put it here, it will flash how much it is, because it's very expensive. But the, the whole uh, reason why I created this is because you don't pay retail because it's given to you at wholesale. Pah! <laughs> it is! Okay, and you always get the finer things when regards to that because I I like my crystals. I know my crystals. I know, I I got the I got the suppliers. So who are you getting it from, Boo? Mm -hmm. If this is a good weed, I, you got a good connect. <laughs> okay, we don't I don't promote that. Okay, <laughs> so it's up to you. Whatever. Okay, don't judge me. Ah, right, so let's open it just like a cake. <laughs> okay. Look at this. All right. So I already unwrapped it because or else it's going to take us days and years and months because there's just so much. There's just so much. It just keeps giving. Mm -hmm. And I know holidays is over, but here it's everyday holiday at the 1-800 number. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So first of all, okay. I mean, when we talk about sphere, bigger than Britney's sphere. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll flash here what is the retail cost and what you're getting it when you're getting it from a crate. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is huge, all right? This is one rose, rose quartz sphere. Now, the, the way that I use this, I put it in the center. Oh, fine. Now I'm getting chewed by my own self. Uh, you know, like love and compassion, you know, so I'm very sensitive to that. Lately, I haven't been, you know, my best. I'm always at my 100, and I'm, lately I've been 110. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So there it is. To show, I have a big sphere at my house. It's like this big. Okay. Um, so it, it surrounds love and comfort in my space. So you can put this in your, never in the bed. Okay. No crystals in the bedroom. I would suggest to put this by the, um, what do you call it? The vanity, vanity mirror. Yes, because this is about self-love and beauty, okay? I don't use this to attract anyone. I mean, everyone is attracted to me anyway. <laughs> okay. So, take a joke, have a chill pill. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, so I'd use this for self-love, okay? So office can be good, um, but vanity, uh, vanity mirror is good. So who has a vanity mirror? <laughs> <laughs> mm. So that's one. Um, rough crystal doorway. Mm -hmm. For me, I like it rough. <laughs> yes, we like it rough because it gives us that through imperfection. Because we look at it, it's imperfect, but it is nature, darling. It is perfect as how it is. It reminds me every time I come home, no matter how bad the day is, it's okay. You are just any kind of stone. You are perfect. You're not naturally smooth. <laughs> I am though. Hello. Uh -huh. No sun damage here. So that one, it reminds me and it's very grounding. Rough crystals grounds you. That's how I feel with it because it's not pretending to be anyone. Daming who good. Okay, here we go. Manifestation of love. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Orgonite, of course. Write in the note what kind of love, romantic connection, and then put this on top. I've seen it. It happens. It's up to you. Prove it to yourself. Okay? It's about the faith, not about the stone. Trust me on that one. It's about your intention, not about the attention that you want. Exactly. Drop smite. Um, manifestations are longer videos than my reading. Thank you if you're just going to be a hater. Okay? But this is a love box. I just have a lot of attitude. So Dalmatian Jasper. Mm-hmm. So this one, okay, if you guys can see it, there we go. Um, for me, this is more of like um, being centered and focused on my goal as far as love, especially if it's a crystal point, as above, so below. So what is my intention? Um, it keeps me focused on that one. So it's for me, it's really about self-love. I may look like I am well-balanced, good-looking, handsome, like a perfect 10, but in reality, sometimes I am a 9.9. .9. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. Stay focused, stay grounded. The box comes with humor. Thank you. Okay. Now the cube over here, very rare find. Like what I said, we we get you the first dibs on a lot of stuff. So these are very, very rare kind of rose quartz, meaning as far as the shape. Now for me, the cube is good for your tea. It looks like a sugar. No, it's not. Okay. So for me, 
the cube, okay, is about the perfection, but nothing is perfect, right? So the way I look at it, it's like we can have an idea of love that is perfect, but nothing is perfect. But as far as like idea, let's accept that we want perfection, right? At least to our own level. So it's it's reality, you know. So I don't want you to feel that we're not accepting the um, the part where it's like, of course, everyone is perfect. I want also to be reminded that. Like, it's okay, I know nothing can be perfect, but it's okay also to want something perfect, even though. But it's about the reality of it. So it reminds you about reality. I may want something, but I will not get it. Okay? Got it? So that's that one. So big realization for the cube for me. Now, we got, of course, I mean, when we say we're giving, look at this chunky, chunky little goodness here. Rose quartz chips. Put in the corner of the four corners of your house. Okay? So normally these are for rituals. Okay, you know me already there. Full moon, new moon, little dash here and there. Dancing in the moonlight. Yes, yes. So it's more of a vibe, allowing the energy of love to come in through your home. Okay, so that's that one. Gorgeous. And of course, if you want to perform and wrap up your sacred ritual with a manifestation crate with my jazz hands, Okay, you are, you are supposed to um, smudge. Connecting with your ancestors. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit of a trick over here. Um, you can light it, of course, and then the smoke goes to the ethers and connects with your guide. Um, sometimes what I do, if you have a bowl or, uh, you know, like something that you put this in, we have it also on our website, I only use a couple of pieces and I light it and I put it there. It's more of like a goddess kind of ritual when you do that. So... You are the goddess here, okay? So you you can smudge and clear the energy of the house, okay? Now all this is available, okay, for as low as forty dollars, free shipping. <laughs> Hello, yes, free monthly extended reading, yes. What else is free? Monthly report transit based on your own zodiac, your own natal chart. $40? Are you deaf? Am I deaf? Am I, am, I, am I hearing this right? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So I can't make a lot, okay? So when this is gone, it may be even out of stock. So I will prioritize first, of course, the people who are subscribed. But you can also not subscribe and just get the box if you just want it, okay? So are we on this? Venus retrograde, right? And this is one of my specialty. Not love, the box and selling. <laughs> okay, so I wish you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. This is another special edition of How to Manifest. I didn't say you're attracting someone, it's self-love. You got me there, boo? <laughs> that one natural comes. When you do self-love, natural. Natural, you want organic. You don't want to change people's mind to love you. You don't want to do that. Mm -mm -mm. This is all promoting that healing, that comfort, and that love, okay? And then if you want to attract, that's a different crate. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wish you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you for not being tired um, of listening to me. Link down there in the description box. Get yours today. Bye, guys.